ignore the handcuffs and the rope. That's for videos you won't see on YouTube. Sorry, guys. Um, oh, speaking of that, I have little little strips of Velcro all over the motorhome. That's for this GoPro I'm holding right now. So I can stick the GoPro on the wall and do a video. Or, hey, how about that? What's up, guys? Yeah, I have a camera above my bed. <laughs> uh, I'll leave that to your imagination, guys. So uh, I also have these big guys here. These are... 10 watt LEDs. So you can see how bright those three watt LEDs are and those one watt LEDs are. They even come in 20 and 30 and 40 watts. Like you can get them just amazing. They're just like real floodlights, which won't burn out. They don't really create any heat. I uh, wired those into this switch right here. So boom, Ugh, blind. But you see how bright I am? This is great not only for YouTube videos, but for any other photo shoots you're doing back here. So I'll show you what it looks like this way around. So it's really nice and bright back here. And even like both of those floodlights use less power than some single RV camper bulbs. So it's a, look at that amazing vehicle back there, eh guys? <laughs> so, okay, all those lighting. And now I can turn on all my LEDs and it barely affects my battery uh, at all. Like, yeah, sure, if I leave those, those lights on, those uh, uh, floodlights, and I um, turn up the uh, rope lights or the strip lights. See, the strip lights also come um, with a dimmer. So you can turn them up really bright or you can turn them down. So at nighttime, if you just want them on a little bit like that, even put them on red and then it's just a nice little bit of light in here. And I'll actually sleep quite often with them just like this at nighttime, so you've got a little bit of light, that plus the fireplace flame at night, and it's super, super cozy, and it doesn't kill my battery, so. If I turn them all the way up, and I turn them on the white setting, which is the, using all the colors in the strip, so it's using the most power, it's using about seven to 10 watts, so <laughs> big deal, right? Especially if you have a good deep cycle battery and you have solar, uh, recharging it in the daytime. So, uh, even the bathroom, yep, even that's LED. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is it looks like incandescent, right? It, it's a really nice warm white. Well, that's something you're probably gonna wanna do when you look for LEDs, is make sure you put in warm white or look for warm, or put warm in your search. search. Like for example, uh, LED 12 volt warm. That will find you thousands of LED bulbs like this. These are warm white, unlike that cold white that standard LEDs come in, you can get them in all different colors. Like if I wanted to have all these lights in green or blue or black light UV, I could have done that too. But I wanted something that looked just like the incandescent bulbs uh, and a really nice warm uh, lighting in here and not, not like these. For the ones down here, I got cold white for the floor. But you see the difference from those. Those are nice warm white. They look just like an incandescent bulb, except they'll never burn out and they barely touch my battery. So. Worth every penny. I probably spent 50 bucks, 60 bucks maybe, just, just on the lights. I mean, that, that's pretty incredible because if you go into a, a marine store, RV store, like I said, you can spend 50 or 60 bucks just on a couple of bulbs. Then I have a box, a box of stuff I haven't even installed yet. I hear some more strip lights. So I think these ones are the black light ones, which I have along my awning outside. I have the waterproof ones outside. These are the non-waterproof ones, so they're exposed. These are good for indoor use. I have these. I haven't, I just found them on eBay and I just do searching and I find this stuff, right? So these are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, 10 warm white LEDs in a track already, and they are waterproof. They're siliconed over. So um, it came with a strip of what, four of them? all together so I could put, or five of them, I could put them along something or I can just cut them and use one wherever I want. It's just positive and negative. So I'm thinking I might put them up here under the cabinets or something, I don't know. I just buy this stuff and then I figure out later where I'm gonna put them. I have some LED strips. Uh, these are Christmas lights, they're also warm white. So they look like regular Christmas lights. Uh, they don't even look like LED, but they are and they're in a waterproof uh, casing, so you can use them outside as well. And these are 110 for a house. But again, I'm probably just gonna cut the cord and wire them directly 12 volt and put them somewhere permanently. I have 
Oh my god, look at all this stuff from China. I've got another one of those RGB remote controls, and I've got connectors, extension cords. <laughs> I have too much stuff, but I always go overboard, right? I have lots and lots and lots of um, the little two-prong bulbs in different colors. I have some warm white, I have some red ones, I have some purple uh, UV ones, I have some yellow ones. Dirt cheap. I remember it was like three or four dollars for 10 or 15 bulbs like that. Like, geez, eBay is amazing. I've never had any problems, by the way, guys. Like, you buy something on eBay, some people think, oh, it's from China, it's gonna be crap. Well, guess what? The stuff you buy here in North America is all from China, too. Again, you're just saving the middle, uh, the markup. And the only problems I've had is sometimes I get the wrong color bulbs. I ordered purple bulbs uh, for the ambulance behind me. I was looking for um, uh, purple bulbs for an application I was putting in there and they sent me uh, 20 pink bulbs instead. So I, it only cost me three or four dollars. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm not gonna go send them back and fight with them for a month or two and wait for another shipment. So it doesn't really matter. I'm sure they'll come in handy somewhere. Somebody I know will need some pink bulbs one day. Uh, the TV, I think I went over that before, uses approximately 10 watts. I think it went up to like 14 once, I guess depending on your screen brightness and, and your settings. That's not using the DVD player, just the TV screen itself. It is LED as well. So basically the TV uses the same power as one of these lights above it. So again, LED, make sure you get LED. Way more efficient than LCD or plasma, for example. And this is 12 volt as well, directly connected to a wire in my wall. And all the wiring, by the way, I just tap into the wherever power I have. I happen to have some power back here where the original TV was in this motorhome. And so I tapped into that. I just put a cigarette outlet on it. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, to plug in the TV and then splice into the wire to connect all the lights as well. So it's all fused already because these things all have a fuse box, a converter box right there. And with a list of what is what. So I just put uh, everything on the light fuse. And so you know it's all fused. Now an LED is unlikely to to blow a fuse, but uh, if there's a, you know if there's a uh, a bad wire or a short or something like that, that's why you want to protect yourself. So definitely, definitely uh, get a few. Uh, make sure it's fused, whatever you do, and you should be good. Uh, the last thing too is outside. I have switches here. One is for inside light. One is for outside, and the outside light is the awning, the porch light, which is. UV and then the black lights along the awning. Now, the reason I went with the purple black lights for those is I went to a couple of music festivals in the summer and I love going to music festivals. As you guys would know if you follow me, um, bugs, bugs, mosquitoes, moths, all the rest of that. So we're all sitting outside my motor home having some beers at a music festival and uh, there's mosquitoes, you know, pretty much eating everyone alive in their tents, but they're totally leaving us alone outside my awning. Um, and in the morning, sometimes you'll see a whole bunch of dead bugs all along the uh, the awning, along the black lights. So it's pretty amazing. If you buy one of those those bug repellent lights, all it is is a black light. So I can always replace those with um, regular white LEDs if I want a real porch uh, real porch light. So the possibilities are endless, guys. So you can just go crazy uh, with what you want to do uh, creatively. I I'm actually thinking about putting around the bathroom. Uh, I might put some strips all the way up there, maybe along there, or at least down there, maybe just up and down each side of the bathroom just for some more cool ambient lighting. You can kind of go overboard with it because it's LEDs, right? And I'll have those on a light switch too, so I don't have to have them on all the time. Um, but yeah, it really makes a difference. And, and the lighting sets the mood, so you, you feel more at home, you feel more cozy. So go for it, guys. Just go nuts. Get your lights. Uh, go to eBay. Uh, and get your lights. And if you don't have um, an address, uh, you know, use a friend's address or something like that. Keep on rocking the free world, everyone. Yeah.